The Church of God in Christ SA, First Jurisdiction Mission Department, will be travelling to Ethiopia on Friday the 13th of July. The team will be joined by youth on a mission delegation from the USA Church of God in Christ. The mission department committed to plant churches across the continent of Africa and to transform the lives of people through sound biblical teachings. The department is led by a dedicated man of God, Pastor John Mahwati, and it is his dream to alleviate poverty in the continent of Africa by giving to charity. Every year, the mission's department travels to an African country to serve the less fortunate communities and those those who are in need, they are handed food parcels and clothes. Previous countries where the missions department had been, uh, has been to were Zimbabwe in uh, 2011, Mozambique in 2012, Lesotho in 2013, Botswana in 2016, as well as Tanzania in 2017. In January 2017, the mission president started a fundraising to raise the funds to help mission department's vision. The fundraising team raises funds through donations and selling of items like T-shirts, books and food. Now joining us in studio is Pastor John Mahwati, SA, um, SA Kogjik Missions President, uh, Sizwe Lubuzo, and uh, he is the mission's uh, trip coordinator. And uh, we also have Muila uh, Motobi, a mission's fundraising chair. A very warm welcome to you gentlemen, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much thank for having us. Pastor, I'm going to start with you. Yes, ma'am. Um, the Church of God in Christ SA, most people have not heard of this kind of church. Tell us more about what makes this church so different from all the other churches that we have uh, heard of regarding its involvement across uh, the African continent. Uh, thank you so much for your, for your question. Um, I'll answer it in this way. Um, our Church of God in Christ is different from other churches is because our focus is not only having church on Sunday, but our church is also to reach out to the rest of the world. Remember, the, uh, the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, when the Holy Spirit is upon you, you shall be my witness. Okay, so it mentions from the immediate place going to the outer uh, most of the world. So that is our, our, our vision as a church, and that's what we do uh, each and every day. And it seems like you have touched on most of um, the African countries that have been struggling. And it just take us through some of those uh, memories that you have uh, when you were uh, visiting some of those countries. Uh, I just want to say before I answer your question is when you visit other countries and when you see people and uh, the way they struggle on the ground, it opens your eyes. You are a different person altogether. We have been, uh, for example, to... Uh, Zimbabwe, um, during the time that uh, the country was a hard hit by the economic hardships, uh, people were struggling, people could not afford uh, to put uh, something uh, on the table so that they can eat. So as a church, we stepped in and then we were giving out food parcels to those people. And then uh, when we came back, we're different people together because now each and every time when we are this side, we can afford, we can eat every time. But now there are people now, who are sleeping on empty stomach? So that has been touching us as a church of God in Christ. Mm. Sizwe, so, so let me uh, uh, bring you into the conversation as well. Uh, we know that uh, poverty has been uh, a long-time issue for Ethiopians. Um, as the church, you will be helping uh, the country, and uh, this will take place, of course, this Friday, the 13th, um, where the church will be going to Ethiopia. What will be part of your donation uh, package when you go down to Ethiopia? Uh, firstly, I would love to take this opportunity to thank everyone who made this uh, possible. And like uh, my pastor has already said, that uh, the most important thing that we're looking at uh, is uh, to help the underprivileged people from those countries, as we know that they are suffering a lot from those kind of things. And what we therefore, we're not only there to help them, like for instance, it's coming our we, we, have, we, we love them because you cannot serve people that you don't love. Then another thing that you want to do, want to transform them in such a way that they will be able to, 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 to get up and do it for themselves as well, even if we're not there because we're going to be there for two weeks. Then when we leave the place, they should be able to get up and do it for themselves as well. Mm. Um, 
let me invite um, uh, Mui Lua into this conversation. Um, I can tell that uh, you're um, a young uh, person uh, um, that is part of this church. Um, and as a church, you have decided to stand out from all the other churches. Um, what made you decide on helping the African continent in this way as a youth? Uh, let me start to thank you. And the church is not basically on African continent only, but we are an international church. Mm. But now we are supposed to go out because the Bible says that we should go into all the world. So sometimes we are seated here in South Africa and we are feeling comfortable. Yet there are some other people that are struggling in other places. So we are going out to different places and now looking at these other places, we are, our intention is to visit almost like every individual uh, African country or even in the, the, all the world, we are supposed to travel that way. So we, there, are, there are brothers and sisters, we love them, so we have to be with them and help them, help them the way we can. Mm. Okay. Um, Cesar, I want to come to you since you are the mission's uh, trip coordinator. Um, will this be uh, the first visit to Ethiopia and the last visit, or you are thinking of most probably doing it in, in a few years' time, or how, how are you going to look at that? Um, again, it is going to be our first visit to Ethiopia. Like we said, that when we're going there, we're not only going to help them uh, with things like uh, food and all that. We're going there to plant churches. Mm. So we love to make a follow-up and to look up how the churches are. Because like I said earlier, that we are going to transform them. Like for instance, last time we were in Tanzania, we planted six churches. So now when we're going there, in as much as we want to help them with what they need, also we want to help them with the word of God because like um, Moila said that the Bible says that we should go there and make disciples of all nations. So we need to spread the word to all the nations. Mm. That's what we want to do. Mm. Pastor, when you um, open these uh, churches in uh, the other countries and of course you have to make follow-ups, how are they doing currently? Um, let me talk about uh, Tanzania that we were there last year. Mm. The churches are doing so well. Uh, it wasn't an easy thing to plant those six churches because now we're having sleepless nights mm. because you have to work and then uh, make sure that those churches, uh, they, there's a church on the ground. But uh, now the question is how do we uh, make, make a follow-up? Uh, we do have people that are, are in Tanzania right now, okay, that are taking care of those, uh, those churches. And then now and then, okay, we communicate with those people now to see how they are doing. And also at the same time, we are a church and we believe in the power of prayer. We also pray for them. It doesn't matter that we are far away from them, but we're also praying for them. And also, like, if there are some challenges that they are facing, now we are in an open church where we can share and then I can see how we can uh, make those church grow. Mm. Mm. And for how long will you be in Ethiopia? For Ethiopia, um, each and every year when we go out is two weeks. Mm. So we'll be in Ethiopia for two weeks and I will make sure that, okay, um, we'll do what God says we are supposed to do in Ethiopia, mm. yes. But now I understand two weeks seems like uh, it's, a, it's a short time to actually come up with these churches and make sure that uh, they are running by the time you leave. Yes, it's, uh, it's a short time, I agree with you 100%. Mm. But what we do have is uh, we do uh, have some training that we do when we get there. Uh, the team that we'll be having in Ethiopia is a full team. We have got those people that will be training other pastors. We have got the people that will be training how to do evangelism. When we are gone, they should continue with the work. So when we get there, what we'll be doing is we make sure that each and every department under missions is doing its part. So that uh, those uh, churches that we plant, uh, they won't die, but they will survive. Like what happened in Tanzania, we are so happy to tell you that, okay, those churches, they are striving, they are doing so well. Mm. And um, Sizwe, has it been possible um, to visit a country every single year or you have come up with some of those challenges where you have said that, okay, this year we were trying to go somewhere and it didn't happen? Like uh, we have already said that we trust in God. So something may look like it's impossible, but with God everything is possible. We trust God that everything is going to go um, according to his will. Yes, there are some challenges, but even though we have those challenges, we do not let the challenges to overcome us. 
because we want to accomplish what the Lord has sent us to do. So this, the, 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 that's why we are working together as a team, because we're not only the three of us that are working uh, towards the fundraising team, and it's not only the three, the South Africa uh, first jurisdiction that is going to join Ethiopia. There are people from the United States of America that are working with as well. So that we're making uh, sure that everything is, uh, is going accordingly. Mm. Uh, Muila, what are some of the challenges that you face when you go out to these poverty-stricken places to actually assist people there? Uh, I can say the challenges. Uh, let me start by saying it may start from us as people before we move to a place that we want to go to. Mm. Because it, we need funds in different ways. Yes. Like to live from this country to go to another country is funds and sometimes you get, you, you get to another country you find that there are different rules that are being used that are not like South African rules and then they demand some of the things that you don't have sometimes. Sometimes you get held up by the borders but just as he said we trust in God and we know that we are going to where we are going. So also when we get to do some places we get affected to see how other people are living. Because yes, of course, we are, South Africa is a well-developed country. Everybody knows that. And if you go out and you see how other people are living, those are the things that somehow they strike you. It's as if you can have more to give. That's, that's one of the challenges that we face. Like, it's like we can have more. It's like we do not do enough of what we are, we are supposed to do as a church. Mm. Yeah. And I understand that uh, you are the missions fundraising chair. And um, usually getting people to actually come out in numbers and uh, support with raising funds is a, a very difficult task uh, that uh, you have been given. Um, how have you managed to master uh, making sure that you do get to those funds? Uh, I can also say that God is the one who makes everything that, to be possible. Uh, in the first place, for us to end up having funds, we, 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 we have to come up as a team because it's not just an individual party. It's a, it's, a, it's a team collection. We have different people. They use their skills. Somebody will be working in the finance department from his job. And then we come together and they tell us how they make money in their own workplaces. And then we come together and they show us how we can do this as a team. It's, it does not mean easy because we don't depend only on us as Christians because other people that are not Christians, they also participate because they understand on what we are doing that we are helping the people. So we also have a problem worldwide, I can say, because people are now having problems in terms of giving. People want to accumulate, not release. That's the problem that we are facing. But now if you share the vision with the people, they start understanding where you stand and then they say, okay, man, I think I can help you. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when it comes to dealing with the funds, uh, how do you allocate the money to uh, different areas within the organization? Uh, the funds, basically, they, they, nobody has got money with them because mm -hmm. the team has got the bank accounts. Mm -hmm. And we cannot access the money unless we have got the chair uh, or, the, or the mission's president to give us a go-ahead. Because if there's a, an issue that needs to be dealt with, it has to be written down and we have to discuss it as a board before the money can be released. Because as much as we can want to release the money, but we need to know that is it worth it? Because sometimes we use the money from our own pockets mm. because we don't want to disturb the budget because mm. the money that is there is meant for missions, not for any other thing. Mm. Yes. And um, are people usually interested in buying some of the items that uh, you put out uh, for sale in order to raise funds? Um, what makes those items that you sell uh, different from any other items from stores? Uh, people buy because there are shops that are selling stuff. Mm. But if you come as a church and you tell them that we are not selling, we are raising funds. Mm. That's what do you usually sell? Um, uh, okay. I dress like this for a purpose. This is what we sell. Mm -hmm. It's both the trouser and this trouser. And then we have, we have the caps. It's just that I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't bring my squeeze board. I don't have it anymore because we give them away. And we also have some other stuff that we sell. Uh, we had uh, now the, the lanyards and the other the pens. It's like the form of raising money. We just see, and also the food puzzles. Some, of, some people were cooking stuff like uh, uh, these guys that are selling on the streets, we're having those kind of, of sales. We just cook some, let me just say, we cook, you cook meat and then people come and buy. 
like somebody comes from work, he's tired, just come and buy. We put money back into the account. That's, that's some of the ways that we use. Mm. And so a lot of people in Ethiopia need your help. How will you identify uh, uh, those who are in need of aid uh, when you get uh, to Ethiopia? Uh, is there a specific area that uh, you will be uh, going to or focusing on? Very good question. Like we said earlier that we are people that we are communicating with, people that they know the place better than us because when you're going there, we don't know the place, but we first communicate with those that are staying there in order they can lead us to where we will need to, to help and to those that they need um, uh, help uh, urgently. So that's how we, we, we do it. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in studio and joining me with this uh, discussion. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. The Church of God in Christ, um, uh, SA First Jurisdiction uh, Mission uh, Department, uh, will be traveling to Ethiopia on Friday the 13th. Uh, and uh, the team will be joined by Youth on a Mission um, a delegation from the USA Church of God in Christ. The Mission Department uh, committed to plant churches across uh, the continent of Africa and uh, transform the lives of people through sound biblical teachings. Right now, Africa Tonight will take a short break. We'll be back with more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.